Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 27 of my Hardcore Survival Let's Play. So, in this episode, we're going to continue with the village for just a little bit, uh, but I promise you this weekend we're going to get on to some other challenges as well. Uh, we did get our first little baby villager over here. He seems to be having a conversation here. Um, but yeah, it's really nice that we have a baby villager after all this time. That means the breeder is working. They seem to exchange carrots to like throw carrots at each other until they have like the appropriate amount. I think it's like 12 carrots. They, they each need like 12 carrots to breed. And then, uh, and then we get a baby. So see, they're like throwing carrots at each other. It's really weird. I, I don't quite understand what's going on, but honestly, we don't need to be here right now. I'm just going to let these guys expand a little bit and then hopefully we can build a library. Oh, it looks like we have two babies now. Huh. <laughs> like this guy is bouncing. His, his, his dad, whatever you'd call the villager, is like, what? What are you doing? Uh, but anyways, let's get out of here and let's actually go wander around the world a little bit. Because honestly, we've been here the entire past like three weeks, including the week I didn't record. We haven't really left this little area of our world. So I am kind of ready to leave and I'm sure you guys are as well. Uh, but thank you for joining me on another weekend of episodes. I hope you guys enjoy this weekend. One thing I did want to do is we need to finish this little area because this was, if you remember, our original villager holding area and uh, we don't really need it anymore. We're probably not going to get more villagers just because I mean, we, we pretty much have infinite villagers now. Um, but I did kind of want to finish this. I don't know if I have the wood to finish it, uh, but that's the challenge, right? We'll just try to finish it with just this stuff right here and we'll see if we can get it done. Honestly, we don't really need a roof. I'm not planning on like spending a lot of time on this, but it's part of my world and I don't want any part of my world to like look bad. I really wish I had some logs, but do I? I mean, I may have some logs in here. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Unless they're in some weird, obscure place. No, I don't. I have 35 chests. Hmm. I feel like I should put those back in my main base. I'm going to honestly forget they're in there, but let's just fix this with just the wood that we have. Uh, you know, not the best material set in the world, but I think, honestly, we can make it work. Let me just think of a few things we can do here. Okay. So, I used to build in creative quite a lot for my channel. I did tutorials and the likes. And over the course of however long I did that for, which I honestly don't know how long it was, probably like five years, uh, I learned quite a few building techniques. Am I stupid? Oh, this one's offset one? Mm-hmm. 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 Pretty tricky, pretty tricky indeed. Can we reach this? Part of the challenge? No. I guess we technically could have reached it if we put a slab on it. Um, but yeah, for some reason, this series has done so much better than all the other series on my channel. So again, thank you guys seriously so much for watching um, all that you've watched. I really do appreciate it. I, I, don't, I don't quite understand it, but uh, that's okay. You don't always have to understand everything, I suppose. Let's just call it a day as far as that goes, because I don't think we can make it much better. Um, could make it worse, though. You could make it worse. <laughs> so it doesn't look great, but mm, we'll revisit that in a bit. It, it looks okay, but it's not something I'm super happy with. One thing I did want to show you guys is I made this, the pumpkin crusher, a while ago. I never showed you it crushing pumpkins, so watch this. You see what I mean? It's like instant. You can run full speed and just like... Isn't that crazy? Like literally instant. You just click. It's like you're in creative, right? Click, 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 click. It even breaks more than I click. Uh, so yeah, we pretty much have infinite pumpkins as well. Uh, but this is always a fun area. Like if I'm talking at the end of a video, you always notice I run over here and just kind of parkour along this because uh, honestly, it's a pretty good area for parkour. Pretty good area. Let's put these up though. <laughs> I have quite a bit. I was going to make like a giant pumpkin. I was going to make a giant pumpkin. I'm going to make a giant pumpkin. I gathered these, and I think, you know what, since it's it's Halloween... I'm just kidding. I know it's not Halloween, but why is there a random diamond hoe in there? Oh, because I made I made two, I think, to repair that one, and I had no idea I left it in there. Huh. Whoops. Okay, so we need to find an area to do this. Obviously, we're going to remove some of the stuff, like the barrels. Uh, we have a cat now? Oh, from the villagers. Okay, you have to tame a kitty with fish. You have to tame a kitty with fish. Where is the... Where is the string? I know I have some cobweb or something over here. Please tell me I didn't take it. Okay. So we're going to make a little... Do we have any wood over here? We have sticks. That's all we need. Okay. So we're going to put these down and then we're just going to boom, boom. Okay. We're going to make a little fishing rod and we're going to go get some fish. We may have some in our chest already, but it's kind of fun to do a little bit of a challenge. 
Uh, and then we have Lapis over here. Let's just enchant it and see what we can get. We have 73 levels, so I figure, you know what? If we spend three levels doing this, it's not a big deal. Uh, we also have a name tag as well. So it looks like you guys get to put some names down in the comments. I don't want to get overzealous here and think I'm going to actually get this cat, but you never know, guys. Let's enchant this. Uh, that is the worst. That was absolutely the worst thing you could have gotten. I need, like... Lure three, I don't think, I think that's what you need for fish. That's so actually perfect. So we'll put the lab is in here. What's up, Snowball? How you doing? Come on, with you, woof. Oh, there you go. A little bit of a delayed reaction there. Uh, we'll put this up. We'll rename this to uh, uh, pre-cat fisher. Sure, you know what? We're just going to call it that. All right, well, fishing rod in hand. We got the pre-cat fisher here. Let's get right into it. Let's see if we can get... Oh, I keep forgetting that they can teleport. Uh, let's see if we can get this cat. But first, we got to get some fish. And I don't know what kind. Maybe salmon, maybe cod, maybe any kind of fish. Because they'd be appreciative because, you know, they're a cat. Uh, we'll go over here. Bless you. No, you're okay. We'll go over here to this bridge and fish off of that. I think that'll work a lot better. Um, well, actually, it won't really matter. Have you ever seen someone fish, Snowball? Have you seen someone fish? No? He's like, what's that? Yes. Oh, he says yes. He's seen many people fish. Let's see what we got. Oh, fishy business. Hey, there's another achievement. Like I said, I'm going to try to do all of these. Um, some of them we're going to have to wait towards the end. I guess uh, we can do that one. I want to make like a brewing room and stuff. I want to go make a blaze spawner at some point, but I'm super scared of dying. So I want to make sure I have some like flame resistance or something because I would prefer if I uh, didn't die. That would be very nice. And maybe, oh, I wish we had a barrel over here. I was going to get a cat. I'm going to make a giant pumpkin. I'm just all over the place today, but it should be a pretty exciting episode nonetheless. Um, those are not the right kind of fish. What do we get? God. Ooh, this is a good one. Nice. All right, what are we getting now? Puffer fish. I keep getting these things. I need no. I need some cod snowball. You gotta, you gotta lure some cod over here. Some salmon, something. I love saying salmon. You guys are like Neo. It's salmon. I'm like, no, it's salmon. All right. Well, hopefully six cod is enough. Um, our fishing escapades are now over. We'll probably never use this fisher, fisher, pre cat fisher, this fisher rod ever again. I don't know where the cat went, but I saw it heading into this cave. So let's go see if it's in the cave. Are you in here? I hope not. It's kind of dangerous in here. Nope. Looks like that's a negatory. Snowball, get out of here. You can't be in these dangerous caves. There's hostile mobs and billions of sheep. Hmm. This cat could be anywhere by now. <laughs> oh, no. What? Man. I really hope the cat didn't go down here. There's a bunch of, look at that, creepers and stuff. All right, well, we're getting out of here. I don't know. I'm not even bothered by you, creeper. Just just don't even try me, dude. It's going to be the end of your days if you bother me. So let's just go and, I guess, look in the village. I don't really know where the cat could be. Oh, it's night. Oh, it's night. I said I was going to get away from the village. And look, the whole episode so far, I'm near the village. I promise you. We'll move. We'll move. Now, we got to kill this thing. Boom. And then I think we can sleep. Maybe the cat is in here. And I don't know. I kind of need to stay in somewhat proximity to this thing so that the villagers can keep on working. Um, but yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good in here. The only problem is I know some iron golems are going to spawn because there's... Well, I hear a mob like right now, but... Oh, there's already some grown up. We got one more. We need to find this mob. So give me one second. Uh... That's like up here. Where is that? Oh, it's probably above ground. <laughs> I was like, there's something really close, but yeah, it's probably above ground. Oh, look, we got our first iron golem. Yay. We're going to have like a billion iron golems in here. Um, yeah, that thing, I guess, is not above ground. Where is it? That's going to bother me. Huh. Well, let me look around. Well, that was entirely unsuccessful. Um, I could not find that zombie. I have no idea where it is, so we're just going to leave it be for now. 
I don't know where the cat went either. I don't really see kitty around here anywhere, so we'll just have to wait for more to spawn, I guess. Um, maybe it ran away, like over somewhere. I really don't know. Um, but let's go over here to the mob spawner. I wanted to do a little bit of organization. There's also a ton of really cool stuff over there. Um, one idea I had is to convert that slime farm into a creeper farm because we don't really need slime. Like, we have more slime than I think anyone could ever reasonably use. So I think for now we're just going <laughs> to... We have all these pumpkins with us. Hold on. Let me go put the pumpkins up. We may build a giant pumpkin, but we're, we're not going to do it right now because I don't even know what that would mean, nor do I know where I would put that in the world. Also, it's not Halloween, so that wouldn't fit me. We'll build a giant Christmas tree or something for a Christmas special. I have no idea. We'll, we'll figure something out, uh, but it's the holiday season, so we'll make a big tree or something. I, don't, I have no idea. Let me just put these pumpkins up. Okay, we snowball. We're we're about to go into some dangerous area here, so you're just gonna sit right there and be, be be a good boy. Okay, all right. So let's go to the mob farm because you guys have not seen it in quite a while. Not that anything's really changed, but I have so much loot that I feel like I I, I just just I want to show you guys. All right, guys. Well, we're in our mob spawner. Everything looks good. Omk sold sand elevator. <laughs> I really should do that now that I actually have access to all the things, but I don't really like. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of more of a convenience thing, and I don't really mind climbing a ladder. Um, yeah, you, you guys remember this mob spawner, I'm sure. I need to, I need to quit doing that. Um, it looks very beautiful, but I wanted to show you something. So I've been gathering loot for quite a while. Um, pretty much we're at the capacity where we cannot hold anymore, and uh, I've just... I've just completely given up on sorting this stuff. Uh, but basically, the chest will end up like this. And there's some decent armor in here, I guess. Uh, but I've accumulated, like, all these bones, all these arrows. I have all of the arrows. Every single one. More art. We actually got a diamond piece of armor from that. So that's super rare. Um, but, yeah, pretty much everything you could ever imagine is in here. They're completely full. Uh, the days when I was using iron, right? Uh, but I wanted to go check out the slime farm, and we're going to kind of see if we can't maybe make a creeper farm out of it. I don't think it would require too much modification really at all. The iron golems that are there, I don't really think matter. We could kill them and get iron, or we could just leave them and block them off. I don't really know. Um, but basically, the rules for a creeper spawner are two blocks high, but you put like a trap. Like if there wasn't a door here, you'd put a trap door there. And then you can still walk in it, and creepers can spawn in it, but no other mob can. And besides spiders, of course, but you put slabs on the ground. Um, but we should have a ton of creepers spawn here because this thing works very efficiently. Doesn't seem like there's too many areas for things to spawn that shouldn't be spawning. But let's just venture into this slime farm. Hopefully, there's not a ton of slimes in there. Let's see if we can actually do something. Oh, did I? Oh. Well, you know what? Sure. We'll just keep a little bit of pumpkins on us, right? Doesn't really matter. All right, so we've reached the bottom of the staircase. Let's go right on over here. You guys remember this area, right? Pretty nice, huh? So I had to get a new pair of headphones, so if I sound weird at all, it's because I'm not used to hearing myself through them. You know, it's kind of like trippy, I guess, in a way. Yeah, this thing's working pretty well. Uh, but if you're really curious, I got some Behringer DT770 Pro 80 ohms. So if you're into headphones, that's what I'm running now. Um, so basically these layers right here and I removed the ladder that was in here, but I think I may still have some wood um, I still have some ladders in here. I have a ton of stuff in here actually um, Well, I had a lot of redstone stuff in here, man I should have should have remembered that when I was building these other redstone projects But well, I guess only the flower farm is the only redstone project I have so we're gonna go into here Is there any no there's no slimes we're going to go all the way up through here, and I think we can convert this to a creeper farm pretty easy. Um, all we really need are some slabs of stone. Um, I don't remember how many layers are in this, but this thing took me quite a while to build. But I built it during Zoom classes, so I had a lot of time, and it was just you know a super grindy thing. Um, that's why I didn't show it on camera, because it was just digging out like a big chunk, and that was not very fun. We did show the fun parts on camera, though. Okay, so... How much higher can we go? Okay, so we can make this creeper farm form a ton of layers. I don't really think we need all of these layers to be like creeper spawners. I mean, honestly, a creeper farm is usually maybe like half this amount. Uh, but what I'm thinking is we remove all the pumpkins, obviously. We don't want light anymore. And uh, we throw some stone slabs like we're on this layer right here. And then we throw some trap doors down. And we should have a pretty good farm. So let's do a little bit of prep. And I think we're going to work with a creeper farm here. It's actually a pretty good idea. Um... 
Hmm. Okay, so I want to have everything to use in one go. So we're going to have to go gather a bunch of wood, which is kind of fun, you know. Uh, maybe I'll make a giant chunk tree <laughs> like I usually do, and then we'll mine it down in a time lapse or something. All right, so we're back above ground. We'll run through our beautiful wheat field here, and I may have less, left some saplings out here. I don't really remember if I did or not, uh, but you remember we, we mined that giant tree right there, so I think there should be some. Well, I looked through these barrels, and then I, I found one, uh, but I guess we had put them back over in our tree farm. There's like some in there, but there was a ton here, so I don't know where I put them. Honestly, oh, maybe they're over here. Actually, they're definitely over here. I have all these like little chests like down from when I was building like specific like a pro like a project or something, and uh, I never really yeah. <laughs> so we have more than enough in there. Okay, yeah, we have. Oh man. That's a lot of saplings. We also have all of our ender pearls and golden apples in here. We never took those back. So we're going to put those back in the inventory because you never know when you're going to need them. It's also becoming night. So we'll go down here. We'll check on these guys. Make sure everything's running smoothly here. Um, yeah. So you guys were like, Neo, I put, I put barrels right here. And you guys were like, Neo, those are not the right block. And I don't know. You see, you know, you'd think, you know, oh, he's a Minecraft YouTuber. Dude. I don't, I am not very good at this game. <laughs> I never claim to be. People just assume, you know, because I have subscribers on YouTube that I'm good at it, but I'm really not that good. Um, namely, the fact that I put barrels down instead of composters. It was just kind of a silly mistake, but I corrected it. Um, I also removed the barrels that were down in here. If you remember, there were some barrels in that corner. Um, I just replaced it with a chest down in there. So just in case you were worried, we won't have any weird stray fishermen down here because there's definitely nowhere to fish. Not that they fish, but... There's nowhere for them to fish. Looks like, oh, look at this. One of the one of the babies grew up. Why don't you have a job still? That's kind of weird, dude. You don't have a job. There's all these composters. I don't know. We'll have to come back. Oh, there. What? What does that mean? So 20 wheat for one emerald. Okay, so that's actually a decent trade because we have literally infinite wheat. Um, so we had four four farmers to start with. This is kind of weird. Do we still have? four oh we have five farmers now okay so i was just making sure they're adding jobs i was like it's kind of weird that that one doesn't have an has like unassigned job but maybe it's too early in the morning for them to be assigned a job i don't know there's some weird time constraint uh but we'll come back and we'll make sure this guy gets a job maybe he's going to do that now are you gonna are you gonna get a job oh wait what how did they get wheat down here what you see this, right? I guess, do they just, like, generate wheat seeds randomly? Oh. Maybe one of these guys was a farmer before. And look, I think one of them has a job. Yeah, because, see, these guys are from around here, right? But the ones we took from the winter area have that different skin on them. It's actually kind of cool. You'll be able to see the first generation of people will be this, like, snow theme. The taiga biome villager. And then these guys will just be regular plain old ones. But I think one of them had wheat seeds in their inventory or something. I, I really don't know the specifics behind it. But I guess our farm will be carrots and wheat. I don't really care what it is. So that's fine with me. But I thought that was kind of an interesting. A uh, little interesting discovery there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm just going to grow a big chunk tree. If you don't know what that is, I'm sure you'll find out very soon. Uh, I'm going to put this stack of pumpkins up as well since we're right next to it. Uh, let's see. Do we have any bone meal already made? We probably do, but I really would rather just grab these right here. We have so much that it really doesn't matter anyways. Um, hopefully the cat will just show up while we're doing this. But yeah, I just plant like a big array of trees like this and basically grow them all out. So I'm going to do this and in, in a bit I will come back and uh, we'll mine the whole thing. Hopefully get enough wood to make enough trapdoors. The thing is, is it requires a lot of wood, so I'm kind of skeptical that I'm going to be able to get that much. Um, but we're not going to grow it, like, too much bigger, because that's already going to be huge. It'll probably be, like, five stacks of wood. You'd be surprised. The trapdoors are very inefficient. Like, to craft them, it takes so many materials, way more than it should. Um, we have bone blocks in here. That's what I was going to grab. Okay, so give me a bit. I'm going to grow all these. Basically, just... They will grow right next to each other. I think you guys... Is it a big one? No. I think you guys kind of understand. I'd basically just sit here and just grow them. So I'll be back in a bit. And look, we got this thing too. Nice.
And last but certainly not least, we have the last sapling. And now you have your own chunk tree. Bas basically the best way to farm wood, in my opinion. I think there's not really a better way. Um, you're going to get all your saplings back if you break it, like, throughout. Go. <gasps> there's the kitty. Yes, come here. Look, I got cod. I have cod. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a white cat, too. It looks nice. Come on. Yes, you're very cute. You want to fish? Yes, we have our own cat now. Yes, you're so good. I'm going to feed here. You want, you know what? Do you want some fish? No, you only take beef. Well, here, you can just take the fish. All right, we got to go name this little kitty. I think, I, f I feel like Snowball, maybe Snowbell. Mm, I sense a theme here. Yes, we're going to name it Snowbell. Only because I feel like that's a much better name for a cat because... Or for this cat because it's like a pure like milky white cat uh so we'll call it snow i didn't mean to shut the door on you there snowbell but let's get you a name tag let's see if we uh yes we still have a name tag what oh mending oh wow where did i get that i bet you i got it from the mob spawner uh don't be roaming around the wheat field here <laughs> look she's hiding in here okay come over here we're gonna put you next to snowball who's gonna be your best friend this can be your best friend in the whole wide world. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely the best way to farm trees. In my opinion, I think making a giant chunk tree um, can never be a bad idea. So let's name this thing first. I always forget you have to name the name tag. I don't know why, uh, but I feel like you should be able to put it on the animal and be able to name it, but you can't. So, Snow Bell. There we go. Oh, it's like, what is that noise? It's so creepy. I mean, it sounds like a cat purring, I guess. Yes, you're so cute. Here. There you go. Now we got Snowbell. She's just she's just chilling. <laughs> yes, you're just chilling, aren't you? Nice. Yes, that's a very loud purr. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like so loud. I don't know why. That's so cute. All right. Well, she just got a little photo shoot here. Look at all these screenshots. So... Maybe we'll put Snowbell on the thumbnail. Who knows? But we got a sweet kitty, which is always a good thing. Maybe we'll, we'll make her sit next to her best friend over here. Come on. Come on, Snowbell. Come on. Come on. I should probably pick up these saplings, too. I'm so bad about it. We have so many saplings, I just neglect to pick up the ones on the ground. Uh, which, you know, not. I think it was she was already sitting on this bed, wasn't she? Yeah, she's still sitting up there. That's okay. As long as she's safe, I'm, I'm good with it. Uh, but we'll go back up to this bed to sleep, and then we'll make her stand up and come with us because, yeah, she's purring again. <laughs> I didn't know they did that. Like, I guess it never had a cat in Minecraft. Yes, you were. Look. Look, she's sleeping on my lap. Huh? That's so cute. All right. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. What the heck? Dude, I thought she was gone. I was like, no way, dude. This game's evil. All right, come on. So we got to get far enough away, and then she'll kind of teleport. But yeah, I'll mind this tree on a time lapse. It's not a very fun thing to just film without a time lapse. I made her stand up, right? Or maybe cats just don't follow you like that. What? Snowbell, hello. She's still up there. I think she might still be up here. Uh, well, there's some string. You still just burn on the bed. Okay, come on. Maybe she just wants to stay there, you know, and if if that's the case, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'll do a time lapse. Hopefully she'll come down by then um, and then we can set her next to her friend. Because even when I run away, yeah, she's not like teleporting behind me. I don't see her anywhere. Okay, time lapse time. This thing's solid wood, by the way. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. Look who decided to join us mid time lapse as well. I heard a nice meow and I was like, Snowbell, welcome. So hopefully, come on, come over here. Yes, you got to meet your best friend. All right, Snowball, this is Snowbell. You, you be kind, okay? 
Come on. Come see your brother. All right. Well, they'll sit at a distance and get to know each other a little bit better. Uh, but awesome. I've never had it. I don't think I've ever had a cat in Minecraft. Like, I really genuinely haven't. Why? I have no idea, but I've never had a cat. I don't think. I've only had a few dogs as well. Um, and honestly, I think the reason is, is I get I get attached and then they die in some weird glitchy way. And I'm like, what? That's not fair. And then you can't get them back. And it's like, oh, I don't want to go through that every time there's a glitch or something weird. Uh, but yeah, let me finish getting this tree. There's really not that much left to get. Um, you saw most of it on the time lapse. I'm of the opinion this really is the best way to farm wood. But a lot of people, you know, may not agree entirely. But like, look how much wood we have. Like, we have more than we could probably ever use. So let's go over here. Let's put up the bone meal because we're not going to need that anymore. Uh, I'll put up the saplings. But, yeah, you basically just get more wood than you could ever need. I think we have how many stacks? I said it was going to be like six stacks, five stacks, something like that. Uh, we already have almost five. So somewhere around there, you know, for a decent-sized grid, it was only like a stack and maybe like under half maybe a stack and a half maybe like a hundred saplings or so so pretty good pretty good haul um so let me finish getting this tree there's just a little weird some wonky areas up here i think that have a few you know what i'm talking about a few logs just chilling somewhere making this whole thing complicated but the best part about having a diamond hoe that's op is this No longer can these little pieces of wood hide from you. <laughs> you can pretty much just destroy the whole tree if you build up a little bit and never miss any more. So if that doesn't sell making a nice enchanted diamond hoe, then I don't know what will. Uh, of course, we'll make a netherite one as well. We're going to be getting netherite fairly soon. Don't you guys worry. Um, I do have an iron golem on the list as well. Uh, by the way, again, in the comments, I say this almost every video, but in the comment section down below, there's a link to my Discord server. Uh, you guys can send suggestions on there, um, as well as you'll get to chat with me, get to chat with people in my community, and uh, I think it's a pretty good time. So definitely go and check out the Discord server. You can join it. The invite link is in the top pinned comment from me down in the comments below. You just click that, and you're in the Discord server. So I'd love to see you around. Um, if you're already in there, thank you. If you don't want to join, I respect that. Uh, whatever you want to do, again, make yourself happy before, before you know you do what other people tell you what to do. Uh, but we're gonna convert this bad boy into a creeper farm. I don't know how effective it's gonna be. I think it might be a little bit too effective. Um, I don't need the XP from them, so it's perfect that they'll just kind of fall into. And there's a lot of slimes in here. It's kind of perfect that they're just going to fall. Um, but I guess we'll just have to put like trap doors on the sides so that they'll see it as like an area to fall. Um, we can also make these into soul soul fire campfires eventually, but we just don't have any of that stuff right now. Um, I don't. I really don't know how the iron golems and creepers are affected. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. We're going to see what happens. Uh, but we should be able to. Like I said, I have more slime than you could ever need. That's why I decided I don't really see the point in uh, keeping this slime farm, especially since we wouldn't have to dig nearly as much if we were to, say, convert it into another kind of farm. So what I'm going to do now is take a bunch of these stone slabs. Looks like we already have a ton. And then we'll take a good bit of wood as well. We can put up a few things. Again, when we're doing construction, we may not need all this stuff on us. So let's just put up some stuff I know I'm not going to need right now at least. Probably not a fishing rod. We'll never need a shovel in here or a hoe. Uh, we will need an axe. We're not going to need a bow, though. Um, so I just want to put all my slabs in here. And then we'll get some trap doors made. And we'll call it good. The thing is, is like I said, with these trap doors, guys, even that much wood. Look how many trap doors it gives you. See what I mean? Like that much becomes... I guess that... That's not that bad. What am I talking about? That's actually really good. Ah, whatever. I don't know. Uh, so we'll remove this first layer of pumpkins because uh, we can't have that lighting up. We don't need to change this layer at all. Um, we just can't have those pumpkins there. We can put torches down in here or something. We'll figure it out. Um, but obviously, we can't have the floor lit up in there or no creepers will spawn. Uh, maybe like in here, we put like something. I don't think there's actually a middle to this area at all. Uh, but we can put something like this here. And then just throw some torches down, which I don't have in my hot bar, uh, just so that nothing bad happens in here. I guess there is half slabs in here. They can't even spawn in here, but 
it'll at least make it a little bit more a little bit brighter right um so only thing we, we really have to do is just remove all these pumpkins again i'll probably either do this on a time lapse or just off camera because it's gonna be kind of boring i have to remove all the pumpkins patch all the holes and then yeah just fill it in like this and then throw some trap doors down basically like this and then you have to put some stuff on the ground in like a grid uh, so that no spiders can spawn but that's basically how you make a creeper spawner you just have a room that's dark uh, with trap doors in the ceiling so two high block ceiling and you put trap doors on it I know a lot of you already know how to make one so I'm not trying to insult your knowledge or anything but it's a it's a pretty simple process and if you want to learn more there's some awesome tutorials out there I'm not gonna go in too in depth here um, this is not how you'd normally build one there's no like water canals or anything but we're gonna figure it out um, it should not be too hard I don't think uh, but yeah give me a bit I'm just gonna do this on every layer and uh, we'll see where we end up in like uh, 10 minutes or so All right, well, starting to think of the fact that uh, honestly, all of these trap doors got used up by just one layer in this thing. So I think we're only going to do like two or three layers of creeper. And uh, I guess the other slime layers, we can just leave them how they are. Uh, but honestly, um, this thing's going to work pretty well. Um, I think these torches will have to be removed. Again, we'll, we'll modify it a bit. Obviously, this leads all the way up to the sky. We'll have to block that off too. Uh, but the last thing you do, and this is to prevent uh, spiders from spawning, is uh, you basically put your... I'm trying to remember if it's like this. How big of an area do they need? Let me look it up. Yeah, so they need a 3x3 three three area. So basically, you just have to put your slabs in a shape like this, and uh, you'll be good. And basically, you can prevent all spiders from spawning. So the only thing that could spawn in here is creepers. Now, of course, I hope that does not happen while I'm in here. Uh, but, you know, if it were to happen, that's okay as well. Uh, but a really good thing about the way we've built this um, in one chunk is that all this stuff is lining up like literally perfectly. So it satisf satisfies that OCD part of a build that sometimes, you know, things don't always work out perfectly with dimensions. And uh, since this is an even size square, it seems to uh, work out just fine. So we'll go on to the next layer and uh, accomplish the same thing. So give me a bit. I'm going to transform a bunch of these layers. Uh, we'll call it an episode and then we will reconvene tomorrow to finish this thing. And uh, hopefully it starts working pretty well. So give me a bit. Again, I'm going to finish this layer. And uh, let's actually go see if we can just make all of our wooden trapdoors. Honestly, I don't even think that was enough wood. Uh, which you'd think... I'm not so sure how you spawned. I thought I filled in all the chunks in here. But you know what? That's okay. So let's see here. Um, oh, wow. That was a good bit of our wood already. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is, it's just something about trapdoors, guys. I, I don't know what it is, but like, yeah, see, that's all of our trapdoors. Oh, we used a lot more wood than I thought. Yeah, see, all of the wood that we got is going to do like only half of another layer. So I'm going to have to go farm some more uh, trees. Hmm. I wasn't thinking we'd need to do that, but you know what? We'll have to postpone this for now um, and just finish this episode by just getting some more trees because honestly... This episode's already been uh, pretty much the length I like to keep these episodes. Let's see. Maybe there's some wood in here. There's some trap doors, though. I'll take those. There's just so much stuff in this world that is just kind of randomly thrown about. Like, we don't want this in there. We don't want that in there. Um, some of this stuff in here, though. Like, I don't need the music discs. The gunpowder is nice. Because um, we don't have a source of gunpowder, right? Our mob spawner only does zombies and skeletons. So we don't really have any way for us to get gunpowder right now, aside from running around and uh, potentially dying at night, uh, which we can try to run around a little bit, but <laughs> we don't have any of our bows or anything, so it's kind of tricky. I just dodged both those arrows. I'd like to mention that. The initial arrows, at least. The initial arrows. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to go to our OG treehouse here to sleep. If it will let us. I don't know if those mobs stop chasing me or not. Uh, let's see. I'm glad I left my bed in here because oftentimes I find this is the closest spot uh, for me to sleep. And it looks like we can, which is good. So, like I said, we'll just grow another giant chonk tree. It may go a little bit long, um, but it's either that or I, I film it off camera. And I figure you guys don't really mind getting extra content. 
Um, I always feel like when I go over on the episode, I'm doing something wrong. And then I think, wait, it really doesn't matter. I have the creative freedom, right? I'm not like making a show for a TV network and it can be exactly this long and this long only. It's kind of cool. We, we unloaded those chunks. And uh, maybe we'll make a giant chunk tree. Hmm. Do we want to take it that far? The answer is yes. The question is, do I have the ability to take it that far and not go crazy mining like a giant thing of wood? Um, also, how many villagers do we have? That's another thing I want to check. It's kind of cool. Basically, these guys will just autonomously grow. Uh, I don't like that we're near this door, so... Oh, I guess those two. Let's see if that other one has a job. So, there's... Both of those guys are farmers. I hear a baby. Feels weird that there's wheat in here now. I don't know. One of them must have had them. Yep, you have a farmer job. And then you have a farmer... Okay. So there's still one guy. It looks like he's... Oh, that's one of the snow guys. Why do you not have a job anymore? Wait, there's a baby snow villager? I thought they would make the biome that they're in. I don't know. Yes, you guys are having fun, aren't you? Oh, that's so sweet. The iron golems, yes. Please, please take my rose. Please take my rose. It looked like the iron golem was sweating, but it's, he's really not. Sure. You know what? That's a pretty good thumbnail. It's probably not going to be the thumbnail, but it, it's a good picture nonetheless. Okay. Anyways, distracting myself from the fact I'm about to make like a giant. Actually, I don't want the villagers to pick these up. Can they? Can they? Can you pick these up? Good. Okay. We'll just leave them there for destruction. Um, yeah, I'm going to plant all these trees in a giant grid. We're going to see how many. The 128 plus 51 is 179. We're going to have 179 saplings down. We'll see how many we get back to, right? Hopefully we get enough. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I may regret doing this. I don't know how wide it's going to be, but sure. Time lapse time. All right, well, I took a few thumbnails here. Looks like the trees are growing. Um, maybe this is what I should keep with me to build up and down because they provide light and I can also just kind of instantly break them. Hmm. Almost like there's a block in the game that already does that called uh, scaffolding. I also have left my diamond hoe down there, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, this is going to grow into a massive tree. So that should be kind of fun. Let's go grab our diamond hoe. It should be down in the mob spawner. Man, every time I, I, I look at that, I still cannot believe it. You know, I'm kind of used to it now. It's been here for quite a while, but the fact that we live in a giant windmill is pretty dope, and I think it's a pretty amazing house. Um, you know, all handcrafted by the Neocubist. I hate when I call myself that, dude. It makes me cringe so hard. Uh, but yeah, let me go and grab a diamond hoe from down in here. Give me one second. All right, let's just grab you real quick. Thank you so much. May have to do a little repair on it. Its durability definitely goes down pretty quickly. Um, because we have fortune five and it breaks like a billion blocks, but that's okay. All right. I'll meet you guys back at the tree farm. I say at the tree farm as if that's our tree farm, but it's definitely not our tree farm, at least in the traditional sense. Uh, we have an actual tree farm. We just don't use it. <laughs> it's much better to grow trees in this, in this way. It's not as beautiful, right? It, it doesn't look great, but that's okay. I'm not really going for, where did I put that stuff? I know I put the bone meal somewhere in the bone blocks. There we go. So I don't know how much bone meal this is going to take, but I imagine it's going to take a little bit. So we're just going to fill our entire hot bar with bone meal. And then we'll just see, we'll see where that leads us. And we'll use the last tool slot for that. Okay. So let's time lapse it. This is basically what I'm doing. Oh, I need to take this out though. That's basically what I do the entire time. I promise you don't really miss a lot. Seeing as how you can see the whole thing. You just do that and you click. Pretty cool, right?
All right, well, you guys saw like halfway through the time lapse, it started becoming dark. I also did not finish this, but I figure I'll do the outro now. I'll mine this in between next episode and, uh, or in between this episode and next episode. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you notice you're not subscribed and you'd like to, uh, see my videos in the future, if that's something that interests you, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being a part of the family and for sticking around all these years. Um, it feels like I've been doing this forever. Uh, but thank you guys seriously so, so much. I really do hope you guys still enjoy the content. Um, tomorrow will be episode 28. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to get an amazing creeper farm. Uh, we'll have to do some donkey adventures, go get some sand so that we can make more TNT. Well, it actually worked out perfect for us. Uh, but as you can see, sometimes it can be kind of a pain just because of all the leaves that grow. Like they keep dipping you down automatically. And uh, it's kind of frustrating sometimes because it's like I just want to do it really quick, but I can't because all the dang leaves. Uh, but this is probably going to be like the biggest tree. Sorry, it's just too satisfying. It's hard to resist doing that, like not all the time, but uh, this will probably be like the biggest tree I've ever personally uh, grown in Minecraft. I've done a lot of chonk trees over the years, uh, but never one of this scale. So maybe it'll take like, mm, I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes to mine it all, but hopefully that's enough wood, right? I mean, you'd think this would be enough, right? And I think we just locked one in there and we can't, we can't get to it. It's okay. If one of them isn't grown, that's okay with me. Um, but almost all of them are grown now. There's like a few more in the back here. You know what? We're going to finish it out. Oh my God. Why did it grow? <laughs> okay. You know what? We're just going to, we're just going to leave it at that. I think that's, that's probably big enough. So I'm going to see how long it takes me to mine this. Of course, we don't have any inventory room when we actually need it. So we'll throw away some stuff. We're going to keep the apples. Those are good. Keep the name tag with us. But yeah, there's not enough slots to... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go put up some project materials. We'll, I'll, I'll just end the episode. I'll mine this between next episode, or between this episode and next episode. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Again, join the Discord server if you'd like to. Uh, link is down there in the comments. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.